Welcome back everybody. A look at the BVI camera at Cooper Island before sunrise this morning. We were looking pretty good out there and uh, USBI included. We're going to be dealing with again more dry weather, lots of sunshine, maybe a couple of those isolated showers as we head into uh, the middle of the week. All right, here we have a high surf advisory that's been issued now for the uh, northern islands. This would be from St. Thomas in St. John. This is due to the fact that winds are going to be coming up as we go into Wednesday. So if you have those beach or boating trips planned for tomorrow, be aware of that. Uh, again, uh, small crafts use caution. You can see that other shade there. That's that small craft advisory further offshore. So again, this has to do with this little system here that I told you about yesterday uh, is kind of sagging its way in. But the moisture with that is being ripped apart with dry air with that high pressure system parked over the Caribbean. Remember, uh, high pressure is sinking air. So all that uh, moisture is ripped apart, but we're still seeing some uh, residual cloud cover from that and also a little bit of the wind from that little system as well. So as that sneaks on in here a little bit, the winds will be coming up a little bit through the day on Wednesday. So the wide view of future cast basically shows that to you. Here we are right here. And again, you can see that cloud cover just to our north. And again, as the winds uh, kind of come around with this system, we will be seeing the winds come up. So again, that's the reason we have that or uh, that uh, high surf advisory in effect also along with the uh, small craft advisory further offshore. But notice not much in terms of rain here, maybe a couple of uh, scattered showers as we head into the end of the week, but for the most part, we're talking about dry weather here. So again, you can see here a little bit of cloud cover as we head into the evening hours tonight still should be dry. Tomorrow, I'm thinking mainly dry weather, partly to mostly sunny. Could be a couple isolated showers up here from St. Thomas and St. John. That's mostly due to the daytime heating process. Again, uh, creating that little bit of uh, instability to catch off maybe a couple showers. But in terms of rainfall, really not looking at much here. If any shower does pop up, we're not looking at much in terms of rain. That is the good news for us. But here's the issue though, the winds. You can see as we head into Wednesday afternoon, the winds already starting to increase and they're gonna remain a little bit breezy through Thursday as well. The winds will likely start to back off a little bit as we head into the weekend. So potentially by the weekend, those high surf advisories will likely be dropped. And again, you can see those wave heights increasing as we go into uh, Thursday as well. Again, the lighter blues indicate the higher wave heights. So we want the darker blues. That means low wave heights of a foot or less. So again, 86 for tomorrow. Same deal for Thursday. Looking mainly dry. Can't rule out again a couple of those little isolated uh, pop up showers as we head into the northern islands, but still looking gorgeous. Maybe a couple of those widely scattered showers once we work into Saturday or Sunday, but for the most part, we're airing on the drier side of things.